Welcome everyone to the Seattle International Film Festival and welcome to this Q&A for the film Captains of Zatari. I'm Justine Barda and I'm delighted to have the film's director Ali al here with us, joining us from Cairo where I think it is midnight or thereabouts. Is that Thank right? you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and Mohammed Fuad, uh, also in Cairo, will be interpreting. Thank you, Mohammed. Thank you for having me. Um, so Ali, uh, this is your first feature film, as I understand, and you premiered at Sundance earlier this year to very positive reviews. Uh, can you talk a little bit about what it's been like to premiere um, and tour a film during this strange time and under these somewhat strange circumstances. احساسك ايه بان هو ده اول فيلم اول فيلم حضرتك تعمله وخصوصا احساسك اللي انت اظهرته في الفيلم ده واحساسك ايه كمان ان الفيلم بيتعرض ولف اكتر من مكان في ظل ظروف صعبه جدا وانه غريبه جدا اللي احنا كلنا عايشين فيها في العالم كله انا فعلا مبسوط ما ما كنتش متوقع ده انا كنت بعمل فيلم عشان عاوز احكي حاجه للناس و... واحكي عن اللاجئين واعبر عن حاجه حاسسها أم... مبسوط ومتفاجئ بكم الدعم اللي بيجي لي انا وبيجي لل... للولاد والناس اللي تحت حول القضيه وشغالين معانا عن امبرت كامبين فتقريبا لا اول مره افهم يعني ايه الكوميونتي اللي احنا بنشتغل بيه في العالم ممكن يغير حاجات وممكن يسهل في حاجات I am so happy, so happy for for have for being uh, for being there with 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 all of you. Happy and and surprised. Uh, happy because what I needed to to say to the whole world is being delivered to the world. I'm happy that uh, what I am doing or the area that I am working in, this field of my specialty is making something for the world, changing it for the better and hope it will. Uh, mm -hmm. I, am, I am amazed, uh, astonished, uh, you can put it either way, uh, with the amount of support I'm getting from everyone. Uh, everyone likes what, uh, what this cause is and everybody's giving us a push forward. I, I can certainly understand why. Um, that, that's definitely the response that I had to the film when I saw it. Um, now, I believe that you are also a journalist and that you met Fauzi and Mahmoud uh, while reporting on something else. Um, can you talk a little bit about how you got to know them and then how you decided that you wanted to make a film about their story? Um, I was working with مخرج بعمل دوكيومنتريز في الحروب وكان عندي حس بالذنب كبير اللي انا بصور الناس دي بنتكلم عليهم في نشرات الاخبار على انهم ارقام احصائيات قابلتهم في 2013 محمود فوزي وكانوا في وقت انا عاوز احكي للعالم حاجه تقول ان اللاجئين اللي حرقوا مش ارقام دول بني ادمين بس well, I, uh, I used to work as a journalist, as you said, but I was uh, directing uh, documentaries and uh, reports about uh, for news channels and for the media. However, uh, it came to me that the refugees that I was uh, taking photos for and filming them, uh, the news agencies and the news channels are regarding them as... Uh, statistics, numbers, figures. Uh, they don't touch upon their feelings or touch upon their needs uh, or aspirations. Uh, until in 2013, uh, I came, I, I arrived at the Zatari uh, refugee camp in Jordan uh, that has uh, Syrian refugees. And I came across these two gentlemen and uh, I decided that there is a big story about uh, these two dreamers. 
And then I understand that it actually he spent several years uh, working with them, getting to know them, um, that you actually began working with them in 2013. انا عارف ان انت اخذت عارفه ان انت اخذت وقت كتير قوي قوي وقعدت مع الناس دي كتير قوي قوي وعشت معاهم وبدات شغل معاهم من من 2013 الكلام صح ولا ايه؟ ايوه الفيلم بدا 2013 عشت معاهم سبع سنين السبع سنين دول غيروا فيها حاجات كتير جدا كنا واخدين قرار من اول لحظه هنختار نقعد خمس سنين نعيش معاهم ونشوف ايه اللي هيحصل هما بقى اخواتي كمان يعني علاقتنا بنت بشكل قوي uh, it's true that it took me seven years uh, I started uh, filming in 2013 and uh, I spent with them seven years they became like brothers to me and uh, we have this uh, strong bond that keeps us together until this moment I lived every single moment with them. I shared their lives, and uh, we are, as I told you, we we've become brothers. I think one of the reasons the film is so emotionally powerful is because of the intimacy that you have with your subjects, um, that they seem completely at ease um, with you, completely natural. Um, ال 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 ده واضح جدا اللي حضرتك قلته ده كان واضح جدا جدا في مدى الحميميه اللي ظهرت على الشاشه وبالتالي خلت الابطال بتوع حضرتك ان هم يظهروا باريحيه شديده جدا وكانوا على راحتهم قوي قوي. Yeah, it's our relation, it's the key for this film. I build with them relation, strong relationship to be part from the camp, part from the family, part from every day. Uh, yeah, I love, I love, I love them a lot. I love them a lot. Yeah. Well, I know that a question um, that I imagine many people in our audience have right now is, how are they doing today? What are their lives like today? Now I'm in the shooting because this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I start for my new film uh, and I'm working for, for a new documentary okay. Uh, okay. and I write the, the new fiction. Yeah. Uh, and I really want to hear more about your new project, but I'm also curious what um, Fauzi and Mahmoud are up to today. Yeah, I'm going to go to the camp and 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 I'm going to uh, what they are doing right now in the camp is that they are coaching the boys and girls in the camp. Mm -hmm. They are coaching them in football. However, it's not exclusive to football. It's not exclusive to soccer. They are teaching them that they have the right to dream. They have the right to jump off these fences, even psychologically. They can think what's beyond these, uh, uh, these fences. Uh, let them soar with their dreams and uh, things can happen. So uh, basically they are coaching soccer mm -hmm. and more. Okay. Um, well, that makes me think of one of the most powerful moments in the film, which is, is when the boys are giving the press conference uh, after the tournament in Qatar and they talk about how refugees deserve a chance. And I am wondering from your experience in telling this story, but also related stories uh, in your other, in your, in your reporting, um, what do you think that chance could look like in practical terms? 
الفرصه ممكن تبقى شكلها ازاي؟ يعني ازاي ياخدوا فرصتهم؟ خصوصا ان هي بتتكلم على اللحظه الفارقه في الفيلم لما كانوا الولاد في المؤتمر الصحفي بعد البطوله في قطر. وقالوا ان كل واحد لابد ان هو يتاح له فرصه. ايه هي الفرص من وجهه نظرك؟ فرصه فرصه الفرصه في حاله الاختيار، فرصه في حاله التنقل، الفرصه انه يتعلم، الفرصه انه يبقى جزء من العالم مش موسوم انه لاجئ جزء الفرصه في العلاج دي الفرصه uh, the, the opportunity or, or the chance uh, from their perspective is that uh, they have the opportunity to live the opportunity to get treatment the opportunity to have a dream the opportunity to to feel free the opportunity uh, the opportunity is to get better uh, better health service uh, to get better education uh, in a nutshell to have the opportunity to live and not regarded as a second uh, a second tier human being just because they are refugees they have the right to live they are human beings just in different circumstances. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a, um, I read a powerful thing, um, Ali, that you, that one of the boys said to you about how the only time he says he feels like he's not a refugee is when he's playing soccer or football. Um, and you can tell what a liberation that must be for him. يا قرت قرت اللي حضرتك قلته ان واحد من الشباب محمود و, و... ده, ده السبب ده السبب اللي خلاني اختار محمود وفوزي عشان فوزي قال لي يوم اللي انا وانا في الملعب بنسى اللي انا لاجئ وانا في الملعب بحس ان انا زي زي اي حد بحس ان انا حر الفاول هيحصل عليا وعلى اللاعب الثاني حتى لو ما كانش لاجئ. Well that's exactly that's exactly uh... Uh, one of the causes, reasons, motives, you can put it however you like, is that I, I chose my, uh, Mahmoud and Fawzi because uh, Mahmoud told me that whenever I am in the field, I, whenever I am on the pitch, I feel that I am not a refugee. Mm-hmm. I feel I am free and I feel justice because uh, uh, the ball is mine. I can do whatever with the ball. I can run freely on the pitch. And the foul that is going to be done against me can be done against my, my other players. So again, yes, this is one of the things. He, in the field, he is no longer a refugee. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One of the things that was um, uh, most striking to me about this film, um, sort of turning to the, the film itself, um, is that there have been many documentaries about refugee camps, as you know, of course, and there have been many refugee (laughs) documentaries about this refugee camp. Um, But one of the things that is distinctive uh, about your film is its beauty. Um, Can you talk a little bit about the aesthetics of the film and their relation to the story? الجماليات اللي خاصة عايزة حضرتك تتكلم عن الجماليات في هذا الفيلم وعلاقته بال... بالحدوته اللي حضرتك طرحتها لان ال... في افلام كتيره اتعملت على اللاجئين وعلى مشاكل اللاجئين و... وطرحت من اكثر من زاويه بل... ولكن جمال الفيلم بتاع حضرتك هو في جمال التناول حضرتك اتكلم عن جماليات هذا الفيلم وعلاقتها بالقصه. أم... يعني المخيم مكان موحش لكن الجميل فيه ان العلاقات اللي ما بينهم وده طب... الشيء ال... The camp Sorry. is a uh, uh, the yeah. camp is a brutal place, and uh, the beauty in this camp are the people themselves. Mm. And that's what made me focus with Mahmoud and Fauzi. اهتمامهم بال بتفاصيل صغيرة إحنا ممكن نسمعها أو نخش لنا منها عشان عشان في المدينة. في زحمتها او مشغولين بيها او عشان عندنا حاجات كتير جدا في حياتنا ما بنشوفش الجمال الحقيقي الشمس وجود الشمس في مكان وجود 
الخضره القليله اللي استمتعوا بيها الرياض كره القدم اللي ممكن تاخد جزء كبير جدا من 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 حياتهم عشان ما فيش حاجه ثانيه بيعملوها هم بيحبوا الاشياء البسيطه وده اللي خلاني الصوره بتاعت الفيلم بقت بتحاول تجيب العلاقه اللي ما بينهم تجيب جمال الشمس وعلاقتهم بيها الصحب والمساحات والظل اللي في المكان ده 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 كجمال في الصوره هو ده اثر يعني ده اثر علينا وقدرنا نخرج الفيلم منه بالشكل ده. Well, uh, the, the aesthetics or the beauty of the movie, as I told you, is that the people are living within a brutal place. However, its beauty lies in the people in, in, inside. And that's what attracted me to Mahmoud and Fauzi. Mahmoud and Fauzi are very interested in details, uh, details that we do not pay attention to because these details we have we've been taking for granted uh, the beauty of of the sun rays coming on the ground coming to earth and uh, reflecting on the faces of the people the breeze uh, that they can inhale freely the beauty in the green leaves that they not too many of course but they find beauty in these little uh, green leaves uh, they can they can find beauty in in sunlight they can find beauty in the air they can find beauty in the little little details that that are very important but due to our due to our uh, tempo of of life and the very fast rhythm we keep a closed eye or take things for granted but mahmoud and fauzi uh, made me get attracted uh, to the beauty that they see. And that's what I tried to portray in, in, my, in my shots uh, for, the, for the trees, however little they are, uh, to the uh, shades uh, that I depicted, or to the different uh, degrees of light. وقد ايه انا كنت شايف ان الجمال اللي موجود في المخيم مش موجود في الدوحة ب... 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 بصراحة وبغناها وبكل الحاجات دي عشان في حاجات موجودة في علاقات الناس دي وفي اماكنها مختلفة. And I tried to explain uh, this, uh, this uh, contradiction between uh, the glamour and the high rises of Doha and this wealth that appears. However, it doesn't have the same beauty uh, that is in the camp that mm-hmm. we could see. I tried to portray this, uh, this contrast. And uh, the beauty is in the people that I've seen in the camp, portrayed or depicted in Mahmoud and Fauzi. Mm-hmm. That's very interesting that the cinematography was informed by what they see, right? By their perspective, their, their attention to detail. Um, I'm super lucky to work with Mahmoud Bashir. Mahmoud Bashir is, is amazing. Uh, he's super talented. He can see, he can hear. He's super fast. All the team, all the team. Tell, support me a lot. Mm. Um, you know, speaking of uh, Doha, we have a question from an audience member here. What is the setting for the Qatar? football matches, specifically where is the skyline and the tower in the background? المكان فين؟ أنا طبعاً أنا عارف بس حضرتك اللي صورته تعرف أكثر مني يعني. المكان فين اللي فيه الـ 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 الأبراج الضخمة جداً والحاجات الجميلة قوي اللي في ظهر الاستاد بتاع اللي لعبوا فيه البطولة؟ ده إحنا كنا في أكاديمية سباير هي أكاديمية تفتش موهوبين وهي من فعلاً أنا بشكرهم هما من الناس اللي دول اللي هم وافقوا ان انا نصور هناك ونشتغل هناك ما كانش الفيلم طالع بالشكل ده كمان دعمونا بكل الطرق عشان نقدر نعمل اللي احنا عاوزينه بكل الحريه فدي كان اكاديمية سباير. ذات واز اسباير اكاديمي ان دوها قطر اند اي فروم هير I extend uh, heartfelt thanks 
for each and every one in, in the academy because they gave us a full opportunity to shoot uh, however we like and they gave us all the assistance needed uh, to make uh, to do what we had to do. So thank them very much. Mm -hmm. Is that program ongoing? The program that the academy of the academy coming to the circuit camp. Uh, Aspire lists are still in the program. Do you mind if I uh, if I answer for him because I know? No, please go ahead. Uh, well, this yes, uh, Aspire uh, is is a, an institution uh, in Qatar. Uh, it's it's with an international theme uh, in sports in general, uh, specialized in soccer, uh, football, and they have their all the facilities and uh, capabilities, potentials mm. to keep that program going for quite a bit. And uh, yes, they are still the program is on. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um so speaking of that program, maybe you can tell us a little bit about how, um, so it's this very sad moment in the film when one of the boys is accepted and the other one isn't. Uh-huh. And then somehow he is. How did that, yes. can you tell us about how that came to work out so well? Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, uh, the, question, the question or the comment is about the, the feelings uh, of, of one of the boys, one of the gentlemen, I like to call them gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, when he first accepted, he said, I was in a platform like this, وعملت ايديا كده صباعين شابكين في بعض لو انت مش yes, شايفني استرسل yeah, yeah. بقى جدا هم هم على خطهم هم جدا ببعض هم هم بيحلموا مع بعض فكره ان هم ي... وبيلعبوا لعبه جماعيه في ارتباطهم ببعض حتى مراكزهم في الماتش واحد هجوم واحد خط نص فبيكملوا بعض بشكل قوي فكره اللي هم يحصل ده ما بينهم كان مرعب بالنسبه لهم وبالنسبه لنا يعني يمكن هنشوفنا ايه اللي حصل معاهم في الفيلم بس ممكن اتكلم على مشاعري انا والفريق ازاي احنا كنا حازمين جدا كنا خايفين على فوزي ان هو ممكن يعني ده يخليه ما يحلمش وما يفكرش يبقى لاعب كره قدم محترف وينجذب لاي جهه ما او او ياخد طريق تاني احنا نخاف عليه من وين. ويل ذاتس ذاتس ترو That's true. They they complement they complement each other. Mm -hmm. uh, they are always together. Uh, mm -hmm. The two gentlemen are always uh, hand in hand, even in the field, even in, in the soccer field. One uh, plays as a midfielder, and the other plays as a striker. So the mid usually in soccer, I know you're not familiar with that, but usually the midfielder passes the ball to the striker to score. So they complement each other. It was horrifying for Mahmoud that Fauzi is not beside him. Right. And Fauzi was unhappy because he wanted to be with his buddy, with his wingman. Uh, but as I told you, he did not feel sour. He did mm -hmm. not feel this uh, 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 very abhorring unhappiness. But it's the human, the human level. But again, uh, we as a team, as 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 the the, the the casting the the filmmakers we okay. were very worried about Fauzi very worried because we were worried that Fauzi might stop dreaming mm. and get dragged get dragged somewhere mm -hmm. to some factions that may make may make him lose everything mm. including dreaming mm -hmm. i have another question from the audience um about this one's about Mahmoud's father uh, who was diagnosed with cancer. How is he doing? Well, it Mahmoud Akbaru Il, who uh, the Matashisu bin Hondo Sarata. No, he's no, no, it's it's Fauzi that uh, not Mahmoud. Okay. Uh, um, I was on the hand of the film, if he's seen who uh, if you sort of Matalia Shore who are met. بسبب الكانسر بعد ما رجع المخيم على طول. 
Uh, well, it was uh, Fauzi's father. Okay. And uh, as we have seen in the movie, uh, there is a black stripe uh, on uh, Fauzi's father's picture. And uh, Fauzi's father uh, passed uh, just upon Fauzi's return from Aspire Camp. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, let's see. I am going to invite any final questions from the audience. Um, but Ali, I'm so glad you came back because I did want uh, to follow up with you about the film that you are currently shooting. Can you tell us more about that? The film that you're doing now, I want to know a few things. Yes. I think the question is going to be about the film. Yes. أنا بعمل فيلم عن أنا بعمل فيلم عن هنشوف كأس العالم اللي جاي من عينين عامل هندي أوه. وأنا حاليا في الهند عرفت إن في تطور بيحصل بشكل ما فرحت أعيشه عشان كده شوية الأمور ملخبطة عشان إحنا بن بن بنحاول نمسك يعني لحظات من الحاجات الحقيقية عشان نقدر نقدمها للجمهور يعني حضرتك دلوقتي في الهند ولا في القاهرة لأن هي سألتني لا في الهند أوكي well ma'am تمام تمام well ma'am I uh, I am in uh, I am in India and uh, I am because uh, in the beginning uh, off air I told you he's in Cairo but I didn't know that he traveled to India oh he should have taken me he should have taken me with him but uh, yeah. you know Two, two handsome people in India, that would cause a big fuss. Anyway. <laughs> so anyway, uh, uh, I'm doing a movie uh, uh, about, uh, or a documentary about how the World Cup, the upcoming World Cup in 2022. Uh, it will be in Qatar, but the movie will be seen through the eyes of an Indian worker working in the stadium uh, or the stadiums and the infrastructure of the World Cup. Okay. And because this, we, we always, we try catch moments from the, the, the main characters. And we, I just I had a call two days ago, uh, and I know more, I know new information for uh, my, my character, and I'm just yeah. arrived five hours ago. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much again for Thank doing this um, Q and A under those circumstances. We have one final question from the the audience um, about Fauzi being hesitant to love and why he was hesitant, um, maybe to to be in love or to fall in love. And then the question is continues: Do Mahmoud and Fauzi end up with um, spouse with wives or girlfriends? هو وصلوا دلوقتي في علاقتهم بالجانب الاخر ايه؟ هل هم دلوقتي معاهم زوجات ولا معاهم صديقات؟ وفي نفس الوقت فوزي ليه كان فوزي متردد ان هو يحب يعني. اوكي فوزي بيخاف من الفقد جدا بعد فقد ابوه بيخاف انه يحب شيء فيضيع منه. فوزي جوز البنت اللي بيحبها. و وكمان محمود يعني في قصة حب مع حبيبته دلوقتي وكان بيتكلم معايا اللي هو عاوز يخطبها أول ما يقدر يكون عنده شعور بشكل ثابت يعني. Okay. Uh, فوزي uh, the, 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 the reason why فوزي was kind of hesitant to get into a relationship and fall in love was because he's afraid uh, he's very phobic actually because of, of loss uh, yeah. after he lost his father He felt that he, if he loved something or someone so much, he might end up losing him, her, or sure. it. Sure. So that caused him a big thing. However, Fauzi now is married, and Mahmoud is in love. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I want a sequel. I want a sequel. I love him a lot. It's like, The decision to 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 say uh, Turkish like halas we will we will stop. It's super hard. I, I wish I wish leave with him all the life. I mean, 
Helen's for, for him it's superhero it's real superhero هي عايزه جزء ثاني يا علي بيه خد بالك بتقول لك اعمل جزء ثاني ميبي 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 there might be there might be a sequel because I fell in love with the scenes I fell in love with the characters with the place and when I was uh, the movie was was off and I was you know the setting was off it was a very hard moment for all of us ممكن نشوف فيلم كمان زي ثاني رقم 2 Maybe we can uh, we can see Captains of Zatari 2 uh, through the eyes of Mahmoud and Fauzi doing it about some people or someone else. Mm-hmm. Maybe the 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 young people that they're coaching now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a testament to your film that I think the viewer cares so much about them. Um, Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. So tell us, um, uh, in wrapping up, how um, how can we spread the word about this film? Where else are you going to play, and how can other people find it who might want to watch it? هتعمل إيه في نشر آه هتعمل إيه في نشر الفيلم هتعمل إيه تاني عشان تنشر الفيلم أكتر وإيه ال ال الأماكن اللي هيشارك فيها بعد كده؟ طيب الفيلم هي هيشارك في أكتر من 60 مهرجان السنة دي في جميع جميع أنحاء العالم في الهند في الصين في ميدل إيست في أمريكا فرنسا في كل مكان إحنا شغالين على إمباكت كامبين لدعم اللاجئين والحالمين زي محمود فوزي واكيد هيبقى موجود بعد كده على بلاتفورمز الناس تتفرج عليه بعد ما ينزل في السينمات هيبقى موجود بلاتفورم. وي ار وي ار تورينج ذا موفي ثرو اوت ذا دوكيومنتري ثرو اوت 62 كونتريز ثرو اوت ذا انتاير جلوب اند يا ايفري وير اتس ان ان يوروب ان تشاينا ان In the United States, in, in the Americas, everywhere, you can name it. Uh, so it, it's going to be around. And the second thing is we are working on an impact campaign uh, for, the, for the cause of the refugees. And uh, God willing, it will be, it will be shown uh, in, in movies afterwards. And after that, it will be on, on platforms and people, everyone can watch it. Very good. Well, um, I hope that you'll get that information to us when you have it. We'd love to share it with our audiences. And um, in the meanwhile, thank you so much, uh, Ali al Rabi, for being part of the festival and for joining us here, despite being half a world away, <laughs> and for the conversation and for sharing your terrific film with us. تشكر حضرتك يا علي بيه جدا ان حضرتك كنت قبلت انك تكون جزء من هذا المهرجان وان حضرتك خصصت الوقت على الرغم ان حضرتك في الجانب الاخر من الكره الارضيه وشاركتنا بهذا الحوار انا فعلا فعلا بحب المهرجان من زمان وكان من من الحاجات اللي اسعدتني اللي فيلمي يبقى في مهرجان زي ده واتمنى مره ثانيه نبقى موجودين مع بعض بفيلم ثاني وشكرا على احترامهم جدا واحترامهم للفيلم Thank you very much for your nice words and truly I love this uh, film festival and thank you for having me and uh, I hope to be with you next time with another movie and uh, be with you again and again. Thank you. We look forward to that. Thank you so much. Of course. And Mohammed, thank you as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Shukran. All right, everyone, that concludes our Q&A for Captains of Zatari. Thank you for joining us here for um, our conversation. I hope you enjoyed it and the film. um, And we'll uh, see you again soon.